Hi, my name is Meghna. I am a postgrad student here at the University of Dundee, and today I'm going to be telling you about the pros and cons of living on campus. Before I moved to Scotland, I genuinely had no idea about the living situation in Dundee. I knew I had to find a place where I could stay for an entire year during the course of my master degree, but I wasn't 100% sure about what I was doing exactly. The international engagement officers did a brilliant job at explaining things out to us. They explained how renting is most definitely an option. And there are other student accommodation which is available in the city, but I decided to live in the university accommodation. The university offers different types of accommodation. I live in the postgraduate housing, which is great because I like the peace and quiet because I'm staying inside working on my coursework most of the time. And as a master's student, that is my main focus. So the peace and quiet is very much appreciated. I moved here last September. It is currently May. So I've been living here for a while now. So I think I have a general idea about what I love about living on campus and some things which I don't like as much, which I will be going into in this video. So if you are at a point where you are still figuring out where you want to stay when you move to Dundee, I hope this video gives you a bit of clarity about that. The first pro that I'd like to mention is the people. Because you live on campus, you are exposed to a variety of different students and you can be friends with them, which is great. The kind of people that you meet when you live in halls really affects your experience of living in halls. So lucky for me, I met some wonderful people and I have been having a great time. We hang out, we watch movies, we cook for each other. It has been great. The second pro is proximity. The university is very close to the city. It's about a 10 minute walk, I would say. And a lot of the events that happen on campus are kind of just happening in your front yard. So you can just get up and go and be on campus and be in the middle of it all. So you don't really miss anything if you are actively looking out for all of these cool and interesting events. You also don't have to travel very far, which is wonderful. In terms of proximity, it's also important to mention that you are also close to your classes on campus. A lot of modules are remote now, but the medical art studio, which is the course that I'm doing, is located in the DJ Cat building. So it's great to have the option of going to classes and sitting at the studio and working. You're really close to practically everything, including the library, which is nice. Number three, personal space. I was concerned that if I live in halls, I will not have my own space for myself, which I realized is not really true because I have my whole room to myself, which is great, which I have decorated with posters and artwork that I enjoy. Safety. The campus is a pretty safe place. Uh, I've lived here for about nine months now and I find it extremely safe. There's always campus security, which is nice, and there is a helpline number that we can call 24-7 if there is an issue that we encounter. The number is written in big and bold in the kitchen area. If we have any emergency at all, it's nice to know that there are people who can come and help out if necessary. And lastly, it is the events. Uh, one thing which I had no idea about until I got here was uh, student residence services. So basically, uh, they have their own group of people that organize fun events for people who live in student residences. For example, they organized movie night and there was pizza, we watched The Princess Diaries, it was a lot of fun. They also organized a rest fest, which is a festival event kind of thing, which had a carnival theme, so there were a bunch of bouncy castles and really good food. It was a lot of fun. Now moving on to the cons, which I wouldn't say are 
cons per se. They're just things that I have observed, which are kind of the consequence of living in a city. First one is noise. Because you are kind of in the middle of everything, you're in the middle of campus where all the events happen, where all the students are, <laughs> it kind of gets a bit noisy sometimes, but not all the time. I also live kind of close to the road, so sometimes I hear a lot of police sirens, but you can't really avoid that. That is just something that happens. Another thing that I should probably mention is the fact that living in residences is a bit more expensive than living on your own. The main reason I chose to move into residences is because I didn't know anything about the city before I moved here. I feel like I have an understanding of the city now. So if I am looking for a place after I move out of here, I will have a better idea about which areas I need to look into, which facilities are available in what area, things like that, which you can kind of keep in mind, which I didn't know before I got here. I did know that it was very close to the university. I knew the address, so I could kind of gauge how close everything was and everything is very close to the university campus. So that's something you should probably keep in mind before you move into student residences. So yeah, that is it from me. Uh, those are my thoughts on living on campus based on my personal experience of living in student residences. I hope you found it helpful and I hope it gave you a general idea about the different options that are available in Dundee and what you could possibly expect if you decide to live here.